Okay, great. Our next act is performed all over the United States, headlined back on the East Coast. He's here tonight. Uh, he was retired, but they brought him out of retirement, for what I don't know. But he's here. We hope that you'll enjoy him. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a nice round of applause for the comedy magic of Mr. Bob Carroll. Give him a nice hand. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's the same damn guy. What a cheap show this is. All right, how many people are here tonight? Raise your hand. Yeah. Who couldn't show up? Same people. All right, good. I'm the type of magician you don't see anymore. I don't do magic. I do miracles. It's a miracle if I get... Oh, but I've got to start all over again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please bring him on with a nice... Where have you been? Testing the temperature outside. How is it? Good? It's kind of cold. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I'm the type of magician. You, what's your name, sir? Uh, Encore. Encore. Yeah. All right, I'll do one right afterwards. All right, good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. No, we did that already. All right, good. All right. All right, now while you were gone, all right, I introduced myself. Okay, and they applauded, and they thought it was somebody else, and then it was me. <laughs> it was a great joke, but you weren't here for it. Can we do it again? Yeah, I'll do it. It's an encore. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. I love this guy. He's fantastic. Uh, please welcome Mr. Bob Carroll. Give him a nice hand. Yeah. Hey! Man, I'm usually to bed by this hour. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the old guys in the show, honest to God. How old are you? How old are you, Bob? I signed God's yearbook. All right. I'm so old, my birthstone was lava. I'll keep going. You pick out the jokes you like, okay? Next week, I'll be here in person. All right, now, let's get on with this crap. All right, here we have an ordinary handkerchief, and by magic, we're going to make it disappear. By magic, don't stop me if you've seen it. I want to fool myself. All right, here we go. At the count of three, the handkerchief will disappear. This will be thrilling for the people in the back row. Here we go. One, two, and three. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Hey! It's amazing. <laughs> I wish I had a better act. All right, good. Bet you thought I was going to be good, huh? All right, here we go. All right, here's another trick. Let's see here. The lady that's next to Encore here. What's your name? Brava. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> All right, I want you to think of a number between three and five. Uh. You got one? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to make this easy for you. All right. Now, there's four suits, uh, club, heart, spades, and diamonds. Uh, we're going to eliminate the black suits, so hearts and diamonds will make it easy for you. Uh, don't think of hearts. <laughs> okay, well, don't tell me. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Okay, so you're thinking of a number, and you're thinking of a suit of a card. Name a card. It's three diamonds. Oh, you're so close. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> People are taking this stuff way too serious, all right? <laughs> all right, here's another trick you won't like. How many like card tricks? Yeah! All right. <laughs> I'm going to do a rope trick instead. Right. Hey! Ordinary piece of rope with two ends in the middle. You tie your shoes in what is known as a shoelace knot. You run around, get it tangled up in something known as this. This is something you can ne never get out of. It's called a marriage knot. <laughs> Is this on? <laughs> testing, testing. All right. Unless so you're a magician, you run your hand out like that, and the knot disappears. Whoa. Hold hey. your applause. I see you did. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen dead people sit up. All right, now. The other type of knot that every takes takes legs. If you're gonna laugh, sit with them. All right, now. <laughs> Run around a room and make it sound like a crowd. <laughs> Come on, Lack. Lack, laugh it up. We have for God's sakes. All right, here we go. The other type of knot that everyone knows how to tie is a square knot. 
Tying a square knot is a simple thing to do. Unless you're a magician, you make that disappear also. Amazing! <laughs> Come hey. on! What? All right. <laughs> if I was any good, I wouldn't be here. All right, now. <laughs> the hardest knot in the world to tie is a knot made famous by Mr. Will Rogers. He used to grab a piece of rope at one end, not grab the rope at the other, hit the rope in the center, and wind up with a knot in the middle. Shit, I wish I could do it. <laughs> but we'll try it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, let's... Everybody calm down. <laughs> here we go. Wind it with a knot. Uh, there it is! Hey! Wow! <laughs> the luckiest night of my life. All right, here. We'll bring up both ends of the rope. Bring up the middle, which is somewhere in between the two ends. And now, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you who aren't sure, <laughs> two pieces of rope. Thank you. Wow. Modern technology. People from Burbank are here. All right, now. <laughs> we'll bring up all the ends of the rope. Say the magic words, Hachi, Crotchy. Hachi, Crotchy. It's back to the way it was before a miracle. Hey! You're probably right about this crap. All right. Here's another one. Oh, oh, hey, out of all the audiences I've ever had, you people are by far the most recent. So, <laughs> I'm going to perform for you the world-famous Vanishing Coca-Cola bottle. Here we go. Abracadabra. Hocus pocus. Now. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what, you don't go to your job and screw up? Fine. <laughs> All right. Hey, here's a trick I got from an old Chinese magician by the name of Hung Wan. His brother was Hung Too. He had three Chinese virgins for daughters, two young two, two dumb two, and no yen two. Okay. These will be funny in the car on the way home, I swear to you. All right, here we go. Here we have a white handkerchief that I've dyed black. <laughs> and a black one that I've dyed white. Some of these I just do for myself. And a little, little spotted can. We're going to place the black one in. Now the white one, abracadabra, poof, the black one changes to white. <laughs> and the white one changes to black. Yeah. I type of crowd drums. Woo. All right, now. I will do it the hard way. We'll take the spots from the can and make them appear on the handkerchiefs. Poof. And now, hoo the white spots have gone on the white handkerchief. <laughs> and the black spots have gone on the black handkerchief. <laughs> All right, never mind. We'll put them both in at the same time. <laughs> I got to be out of here by 10. All right, here we go. Take the spots off. Throw them in the can. We have one and two. It's a miracle, ladies and gentlemen. $20 for that piece of crap. All right. <laughs> Honest to God, the magic shop just suckers me all the time. All right. Have you seen the Vanishing Coke bottle? No. <laughs> well, you're going to see it again. All right, here we go. All right, abracadabra, hocus pocus. Poof! No! Look at that. No wires. No wheels. Encore loves it. All right, I'll bring it back. <laughs> you people, you don't believe in this crap. All right, forget it. Forget it, forget it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, an illusion of magic I'd like to perform for you, the Indian rope trick. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Here we go. An ordinary gimmick rope. <laughs> and a little magic powder. People are going, I got that home. It's called Gold Bond. <laughs> it's good for chafing. All right, good. All right, here we go. This will stay like this for four hours. <laughs> if you don't have that kind of time, 
How about that, the Indian rope trick, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. All right. All right. Encore, this is going to be just for you, okay? Because you look like a nice guy. I could be wrong. We're going to go into ESP. Everybody believes in ESP. Do you believe in that stuff, Encore? All right. <laughs> ESP, the power of mind. We all have it. We don't use it enough. How many times have you heard the phone ring and knew someone was on the other end? <laughs> How many times have you heard somebody at the door and knew it was a Jehovah Witness? <laughs> ESP. And somewhere, Encore, I'm going to have you help me out. This is really simple. I wrote a prediction inside this board. And we didn't set anything up. You didn't know I was going to call on you. Encore, is there any way possible that you could know what this word is? I can't hear you. Uh, no. No, freaking genius. <laughs> <laughs> you said yes, I had that too. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not wasting time. All right, here we go. Uh, Encore. We're going to go. We're going to power of the mind. We're, we got to think, think alike here. Encore, here we go. Um, here we go. Uh, let me pull this out of here. All right. Encore, name a letter of the alphabet. Hey. Really? Unbelievable. <laughs> Chinese, it's in Chinese. <laughs> I would have also accepted a W and a Q. <laughs> Encore. Okay. Are you ready, Encore? Let's do it. Name a wild animal. A zebra. There it is. <laughs> I would also have accepted a monkey. All right, now. <laughs> Encore, this is getting the hard stuff. Now we're getting into the tough category here. Okay, Encore. Oh, crap. <laughs> is it in here? Yeah, there it is. All right, good. Encore, name a famous male celebrity. <laughs> what? What? Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> when he was a little kid. I did this last night, and the guy said, President Obama. I said, don't give me that crap. I know Obama when I see the son of a gun. All right. Encore, this is, this is it. This is, hope this works, all right? You're going shopping in a grocery store. You go shopping? Not really. Well, you're going <laughs> to. Pretend you've been in a grocery store, okay? Not to rob it, just to go in there, <laughs> look around, you know, whatever you want. You're in the cereal aisle. You ever eat cereal? In my childhood, yeah. All right, let's go back to when you were a child, okay? And you see a box of cereal on the shelf that you really like. You take it off the shelf and you hold it in your hand. What what cereal did you pick? Lucky Charm. Unbelievable. That's right. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> because in this prediction... Unbelievable. Look at this. <laughs> this barcode says Lucky Charms. So I'm going to give this to you. You take it to Ralph's or Whole Foods. Well, they don't sell anything good. But I get $42 for a banana over there. I've got to take out a loan to grocery shopping. All right. But I, you said Lucky Charms. This is Lucky Charms. Would I lie to you? No, it's Lucky Charms. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable. Hey! Now, is that your wife or girlfriend or? A friend. And what's her name? Adrana. Yeah, it's not, yeah. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Let me see what you say. Draga. Is that good? Draga. You would have uh, put the draga. <laughs> you got to put the draga. I didn't know that. How do you spell draga? Well, never mind. All right. Encore, come on up here. Give them a round of applause. Come on up here.
Keep applauding, he's not here yet. Thanks for a while. Right. Nice to see you. Stand right here on the spot. Do you see that spot? Did you do it? No, all right, all right. Good. <laughs> all right, we're going to have her read your mind. You can read his mind, it's simple. Now, Encore, I'm going to have you pick a card out of this entire deck of gimmick cards. Okay? All right, I'm going to have you pick a card, and when you pick a card, I want you to look at it. Don't show the audience what it is, don't show me what it is. Keep it to yourself, and then put it in your pocket. But for God's sakes, remember the card. Okay? All right, I'm going to go through here. I know. It's a tough one, isn't it? All right. Just say stop wherever you want me to stop. stop. Right here. Would you do me a favor? Take that card. Look at it. Don't show anybody. Put it in your pocket. Remember what it is. Now, Draga, you are going to read his mind. But, you know, there's so many people in here thinking at the same time. I brought with me today, Encore, look, a thought transference machine. <laughs> I bought it from a homeless guy right down the street. He was in front of a dope bookstore. No, I actually got this from Raina Bobbitt. She sold it to me. All right, now. All right, now. Here we go. Hold that. Hold the handle. Hold this up to your forehead. Don't do the other end or it'll kill you. All right, now. Now, Draga, you are going to read his mind. Okay. Now, turn the crank, point it right at her. Don't point it at anybody else, because, all right? Can I see? Not, no, not yet. I'm going to ask you some questions. <coughs> Hold on, i got to help her. Right, I want you to pay attention to what's going on here, okay? All right. <laughs> Encore, ask her if the card is a high card or a low card. Is it a high or a low card? It's a low. Is it a low card? It is. Unbelievable! Yay! That thing works pretty good. I'm glad I paid 50 bucks. All right, now, <laughs> ask her if uh, it's a low card. Ask her if it's uh, a red card or a black card. Is it a red or a black card? It's a red. Is it a red card? It is. Oh! No! Yeah. All right, so we know it's a red. It's it. It, it works great. <laughs> fast, fast. Turn it faster. It works fast. Woohoo! All right, ask her if it's a heart or a diamond. Is it a heart or a diamond? Hold on. <laughs> is it a heart? It is. Holy oh. You know what? I bet this not only works with her, but everybody in the entire audience. Give those people over there, give the, and the people way back there, give everybody a shot at it. All right. Stop already, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing me out. All right, now. All right. All right. Now. <laughs> the big part. Ask them, to the whole audience, say, what is my card? What is my card? The two, two of hearts. hearts! Take the card out, see. It's in the other pocket. It's over here. Where'd you put it? For that bit. Oh, that's my card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's I know care. that, too. All right. Did you find it? Yeah. Where'd you... Oh, shit. My... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is it. The turn! Thank you very much, Encore! <laughs> We're almost to the end of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you've been a fantastic audience. And uh, those other people who missed the show tonight, they couldn't get here because the, the bus broke down. But we're going to show you how to do a trick because everybody said, geez, how do you do that wonderful magic? So we're going to show you how to do a trick. In fact, I bought this today. It's called the uh, Vanishing Bandana. Went to the magic shop. They say the instructions are online. So I just opened it up. We're going to learn how to do it together. I'll put this here, get some volume on the darn thing. And I hope you enjoy it. We're going to learn something all about magic. Let me put this down here. And here we go. Let me just uh, turn this on here. Hello, fellow magicians. Welcome to the world of Acme Magic, your yeah. professional mail order magic company. Good. 100% genuine. Good. This lesson is the mystery of the vanishing bandana. Bandana. Good. For this mystery, you will need two props. Yes. 
One is a square of darkly colored fabric. Yes. And a yellow bandana. All right. Pick up the bandana. <laughs> what? Now, fold the bandana in half. Okay. That's right. Fold it in half. <laughs> Now, fold it one more time. All right. <laughs> Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. <laughs> Remember to keep your hand in a natural position. This is called palming. <laughs> now that you have mastered palming, yeah. we're ready to begin. All right. Open up the folded bandana. <laughs> Show the audience it is a regular bandana by waving it up and down. <laughs> if an audience member does not believe it is a real bandana, allow him to wipe his face on it. <laughs> now, pick up the dark square of fabric and gather the four corners together, making a little makeshift bag. Okay. Hold on. Wait for me. All right. There we go. All right. Using your free hand, fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier. All right. <laughs> and drop it into the folds of the fabric makeshift bag. All right. There. <laughs> From the outside of the makeshift bag, yeah. squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. All right. <laughs> what the audience didn't see is that you never really put the bandana in the fabric at all. <laughs> You really kept it hidden in your left hand. Remember palming? I do now. <laughs> Again, remember to keep your left hand held naturally. Now, make a magical gesture. <laughs> For the grand finish, fling open the fabric and receive your well-deserved applause. Yeah, right. <laughs> Amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! What a night, huh? Dave Egan, the mind hacker. What an illusionist. And my name is Bob Carroll. If you'd like to see me on the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon in four weeks, then please write him and let him know. <laughs> thank you very much. Have a real nice evening. Drive carefully on the way home, and thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, everybody.